Hello and welcome to another edition of Will's Grill Shack. Today we're going to be making an amazing Argentinian chimichurri sauce. Now this is an own recipe and I don't like your bog standard chimichurri sauce. I found it a little bit plain and a little bit boring whereas this is next level freshness in the sauce and also I like to add a little bit of chili in it so you get a really nice little bit of heat which really sets off any steak or anything I've tried it in burgers it works so well so you can see the colors in it are just amazing it's just so fresh and just absolutely beautiful chimichurri sauce and I had it on this steak here and I actually think that was probably the nicest steak I've ever had because of the chimichurri and it was only a cheap cut of steak we're only talking 15 pound tomahawk steak from Costco British meat you know nothing fancy but my god did that chimichurri set it off so without further ado let's head over to the bench I'm going to show you how to make this quick and easy Argentinian chimichurri sauce and don't forget if you're new here hit that subscribe button to see more tips tricks and recipes just like this okay so to make this amazing chimichurri sauce we're going to start off with half a cup of olive oil then we've got a good bunch of parsley that we're just going to chop very finely up so that is very finely chopped up so we just pop that to one side and we've got uh, one red chili here and what we're going to do is just slice that open and then we're just going to take out the uh, chili seeds that are in there and then once we've done that we're just going to finely chop these chilies as well and that's those finely chopped so we're just going to pop those over with our flat leaf parsley then to jazz it up a little bit i just like to get a little bunch of coriander and we'll chop that up as well i just find that really adds a nice freshness uh, to the chimichurri and then we'll just pop that uh, with the other bits we've chopped up. Okay, so we've got our bowl back and we've got all our ingredients here. So we're just gonna pop those all straight into the bowl. Make sure you get all those chilies because I do like a little bit of heat. If you do like a lot of heat, you can use two, but I sometimes find it's a little bit overpowering. Now we've got our red wine vinegar. And we're just gonna go in with two uh, tablespoons of that straight in there. I'm just gonna crack a little bit of pepper in there then we're going to go in with a pinch of salt as well then we've got uh, one teaspoon of oregano to go in then we've just got two garlic cloves here and we're going to pop those into the mincer and we're just going to squeeze those in there just get that all off of there you could chop it but I just find that Sometimes you just don't chop it small enough. Then we've just got all the ingredients there, so we're just gonna mix all of that nicely together. And you will see the freshness of those colors is amazing. Just look at that. Absolutely incredible flavoring and colors. And this is gonna be absolutely amazing on a beautiful state and and I'll just take you down for a closer look and you can see it's lovely coloring just look at the coloring on that beautiful wow how good does that chimichurri look I mean it just looks absolutely top-notch stuff and I am just such a firm lover of it it's amazing and if you haven't tried this recipe give it a go because it's absolutely banging as always hope you enjoyed the video if you did leave a like subscribe to the channel join me next time for another edition of world's grill shack thanks for watching